Boy, you guys have been absolutely sleeping on the best way to tote around your everyday carry items, and this is the ticket right here. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. Today I'm going to fill you in on a little bit of a secret, how I carry my everyday carry items, and it is probably, no it is, the best way to carry around everything instead of loading up your pockets, forget about backpacks and sling bags and pouches. This right here is the way. So sitting in front of me right here is a collaborative product between the Japanese streetwear company Beams and of course a Colorado company Crocs. These released back on April 19th of 2019 and I've had them for quite a while. They are a size 11 men's shoe and you may have seen these before on my Instagram or maybe some other places on the internet. But right here, we have tactical Crocs. Now some of you guys may be thinking, there's absolutely no way I'll wear Crocs, they're so ugly. What an idiot! Oh, what a loser! Good, good, more for me and you. Whatever dude, more for me, more for everyone else out there who actually appreciates the comfort, the traction, the function of a shoe like a Croc, especially a collaborative Croc with beams. So this right here is the absolute pinnacle of carrying around your everyday carry items. We're talking about wallet items, flashlights, pocket knives, maybe even some little extra stuff in there for self-defense or maybe some medical items. So I'm gonna give you guys a rundown of how I'm running my Crocs right now in 2024. We're gonna start over here on my left foot and take a look at the actual shoe itself. Of course, these are a tactical version of a very popular shoe from Crocs. And there is a ton of traction on the bottom of these guys. As you can tell, they are a little beat up because I actually wear these things quite often. Doesn't matter what the weather is, whether I'm going to the beach, going hiking on a trail, or just kicking around the house. You cannot go wrong with having a pair of Crocs, especially like these on your feet. They do fit very true to size, and of course they are adjustable in the rear. A lot of people will see these shoes and say, ah, there's no way you can wear those, especially if you have stuff in them. As soon as you go walking, all your stuff's gonna go flying out, and I have this to show you guys. Back up. Back up. Back up. I need your assistance. With what? Come in. I need you to film me so I can show everyone how fast I am in these Crocs. Am I even gonna be able to catch you on camera with how fast you are? I don't are? know, we'll see. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Still fast as fuck, boy. Of course, we do have the four-wheel drive mode in the back, which is adjustable with these Velcro straps here. There's some nice, like, rubberized plastic tabs on there, so you can pull them, cinch them down, and get this thing fitting your foot exactly the way that it needs to fit. They are also warm because of everything going up on the front here, so we got complete coverage with a lot of functionality, which we are going to dive into right now. What are some of the items that I carry with me using these shoes? First and foremost, on the left toe pocket here, you can never have enough Tabasco. Doesn't matter what kind of hot sauce it is, I just happen to have this one with me today. Never know when you're gonna run across some bland pizza or maybe some oysters. You gotta stay strapped with hot sauce at all times. I actually need to re-up on this one a little bit. We're looking a little low there. This is also great for keeping you awake on long drives. You see a lot of military guys wearing these nowadays and have you ever put a drop of Tabasco in your eyeball when you're trying Trying to stay awake, it helps. It works really well. You can turn an eight hour drive into a 16 hour drive with just a simple little bottle like this. Keeps you going. Next to that pocket, we have this little canister right here. Can you guys tell me what this is? So if I crank this thing open, inside we have a magnetic kind of loader filled with BBs. And I'm dumping them all over the table. I'm gonna set this one to the side for now. We'll come back to that in just a second. We're gonna dive into these pockets a little bit more. We have a big zipper pouch over on the left-hand side here, and this is where you're going to find all of your medical needs. You see a lot of guys doing EDC videos, carrying tourniquets and quick clot and all of this stuff that is just super bulky, and 
for the most part, pretty unnecessary. There is a higher chance of you needing one of these right here in your everyday life than needing a tourniquet. So we of course have some bandages, just a little sticky, no latex band-aid. Before you stick that band-aid on, you should clean it up with an alcohol prep patch, keep all the germs away, and then to mitigate some pain, got some simple ibuprofen here. That'll definitely get me through a long day when I'm out in the field, get an injury, I can patch myself up and make it back home. Also in the medical department, we have some replacement batteries, AAA batteries, and that is going to pair perfectly with my go-to pocket light over here. This is a Streamlight MicroStream. Has a high and low mode. I carry these things all the time, and this one has been around the block for years and years now. They take a lot of abuse, and they just keep on working. So that's the mesh pocket, the zip pouch, the outer pouches, but what do these BBs go to? Well, if you take a look at the design here, we have a carabiner over here with a matching one on the right. That way, when you kick these things off, you can attach them together, throw them on a backpack. Makes carrying these around a little bit easier if you ever decide to go barefoot, but you will also notice an adjustable buckle strap on here. So if I pop that sucker open, the whole front end of this shoe opens up and you can stuff a lot of gear inside of here. I'm traveling pretty light today, so to go along with this little canister of reloadable BBs, we of course have a little bit of self-protection here. This is a Burly Sling Pop Slingshot. It's made out of billet aluminum and it also doubles as a bottle opener as well. I don't care what you are carrying around for your EDC, if you don't have at least one bottle opener with you, you're not doing it correctly. So that thing simply tucks away, goes really unnoticed. So of course you wanna make sure you have your concealed carry permit when you are traveling around with something like this. You don't know how dangerous this shoe actually is until I pop that buckle. You don't wanna be around me when I pop that buckle. So let's get all this gear loaded back up in here and then we will move over to the right foot. That's where the magic actually happens. Right foot time, let's take a look at this thing. On the outermost pockets here, we have a simple multi-tool, which again acts as a bottle opener. We got redundancies here because two is one and one is none in the everyday carry world. We have a little bit of a pry bar and then some hex tools on here as well because you never know what you're gonna run into out there. I use this thing pretty much every single day. Next to that, we have a compartment for cash. Wallets are pretty much overrated at this point. It's very simple to just go down, act like I'm tying my shoe, boom, paying with cash. Don't need credit cards, credit cards controlled by the government and we don't want any more government intervention, any more than we already have, you know? Moving over to the left side outer pocket right here, I have kind of a pocket knife multi-tool combo here. We're really covering all of our bases today. So when you're out on the trail, maybe you come across some wild oysters because you were hiking along the beach. We got our Tabasco in our left shoe. And over here we have a bunch of tools which will help you slurp those things down. We got a pocket knife, bottle opener, and then also a fork and a spoon. So these Crocs are perfect for camping. You really don't need to take anything else out there with you. Maybe just a little tarp to throw down to sleep on, but I'm self-contained with everything I need right here in these Crocs. Now diving into the big hitting compartment on these guys, no self-protection on this one, but maybe it is. We got a Balasong. This is a Balio from Spyderco, and it's a pen. When you're out there walking around in public, sometimes you just gotta sign a couple autographs, sign some chests, sign some babies' foreheads, you know, all the typical movie star life status stuff out there. So we have a pen with us at all times. And now diving into the zipper pocket here, we have some very important items. We have not one, but two rounds of 124 grain Federal HST hollow points. These are of course nine millimeter, one of the most common rounds out there. And why two? Two is one and one is none. And this is kind of like a life or death scenario there. You have two extra rounds that are kind of hidden on your body. So pair that with whatever you have in your waistband and you should be able to handle pretty much any situation that comes at you. And then last but not least, also in the spare round compartment, we have a condom. No latex in this guy. You never know who has latex allergies. Just like the bandage in our left foot, no latex on this guy and why a condom? 
There's a lot of reasons why condoms are good for EDC rolls. You can turn something completely waterproof with this. Maybe I want to take my flashlight underwater, I can shove it inside the condom. That's what most people would say, maybe use it as a tourniquet high and tight up there on your arm. This thing is stretchy, you can pull that super tight, makeshift tourniquet. The real reason to have a condom with you is of course, you're wearing Crocs. When you're wearing shoes like this out in public, you're gonna wanna have something like this on you because you never know when the moment is going to hit. So that thing is riding shotgun with a quick pull tab here, ready to go at a moment's notice. And that, my friends, right there is the absolute best way to carry all of your EDC gear. Everything you need, nothing you don't. If you guys have any questions about this stuff, you can let me know in the comments down below. Slide these puppies on here. Oh, yeah. Such a good fit. Yeah, boy. All right, that's enough messing around. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this everyday carry video. I am currently on vacation in Mexico right now as you guys are watching this, so... Just a quick goofy video to kind of poke fun at the EDC community with all of the crazy stuff that people are carrying around nowadays. I will be jumping back into regular videos very soon once I am back in the States. And if you made it this far in the video, we are going to continue the Psy swag giveaway. So here is the winner from last week. I have replied to your comment and I need your email address. That way I can send you a swag pack from the Psy Production store. We still have a ton of stuff over there. T-shirts, hoodies, hats, water bottles, shorts, just a little bit of everything over there. So we're gonna continue the giveaway in this video. All you have to do to win a swag pack from the store is simply be subscribed to the channel, leave a like on this, and drop a comment down below. I will pick one and announce the winner in the next video. That is all that I had for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, consider clicking subscribe because I make new videos every single week. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.